It, it surprised me. What? I, it, sur it surprised me. Oh, it surprised you. Nice. We don't have all the n national parks like this, like here in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And especially when I uh, arrived yesterday at night, but at night, I'm so sorry, at night. Mm -hmm. And the driver told me from uh, airport to the hotel, and it's a national park just beside the motorway. In China, we have some remote place, and uh, you know, like here, we have the tiny cars, mm -hmm. motorbikes. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, they are the same. Ah. Yeah. Where are you from, George? Spain. Oh, from which city of Spain? Madrid. Oh, Madrid. Great. So, for how long have you been in Nairobi? Just for two hours. <laughs> oh, nice. Just for two hours. This morning. Oh, so you just left the hotel and just came direct to the CBD. Exactly. Yeah. Right. We, we had a free tour, mm -hmm. you know, with a guide. And that's all for me. Wow. Nice. So, what was your first impression when you came to Kenya? I love it. I love it. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. And I love this ambient, for example. You're like really free people. Ooh, thank you for that. So, did you have any culture shock when you came to Europe? Not really. No, not really. No, a shock. No. Mm -hmm. No. I'm not. Kenya, your first African country to visit. I have been in Morocco before. Mm. How was it? I like it. Mm -hmm. I like it, yeah. Any other African country you have visited? No. And should you recommend anyone who has never visited Africa to visit? Well, at least you have been in Morocco. Um, I think it's... It, it surprised me. I, it, sur it surprised me. Oh, it surprised you? Nice. I, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. I think it is another thing, you know, but I yeah, really love it. I love Morocco and I love what, what I have seen uh, in Nairobi. New name for African cities? Ten African cities. Just four. Uh, I don't know, Nairobi, uh, Mombasa, uh, <laughs> African, all African, Morocco and Cairo, for example. Tell me something people don't know about. Hello. Yeah. Hi. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm Amy. Great. You are Amy? Yeah, yeah. From which country, Amy? From China. And this is my first time in Kenya, in Africa. Wow. Great. Welcome to Kenya, Karibu Thank Kenya. You. Thank you. So for how long have you been in Kenya? Uh, about 10 days. Mm -hmm. We planned for 10 days. And this is, to be honest, this is my first day. Mm -hmm. So um, I have no idea about uh, the full picture yet. Great. What made you choose Kenya to be your first African country to visit? Uh, safari. Wow. Great. So, have you visited any national park so far? Uh, no, yet. This is the first day. I just arrived last night. Oh, you just arrived last mm -hmm. night, huh? Great. So, you have been to museum. Any other place you have visited for those mm -hmm. forward? Yeah, uh, in the morning, uh, no, at noon, I went to the All Seasons Coffee Farm. Mm -hmm. In Limuru? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I back here to the museum, but it's closed. Yeah, it's closed. Yeah, thing, yeah, but they say maybe tomorrow they would open. Have they given you the reason why they are closed? Uh, they just reorganized the exhibition room. Okay. Yeah. Oh, great. So you'll come tomorrow to check the museum? Yeah, yeah. it's not too far from where I stay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So any other place you are, you are planning to visit, like a national park, yeah. a giraffe center? And uh, not yet, because we will go to the safari in Masamara. Mm -hmm. That so, is when? And next week, mm -hmm. at the weekend, we will go to Amboli. Is that? Amboseli? Yeah, and to see Kilimacharo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, great. You're going to love it. So, you have said that Kenya is your first African country. Mm -hmm. Did you have any culture shock for you as a Chinese in Kenya? 
Mm, not yet. So just uh, you know, everything for me is so new, so mm. different, and uh, just uh, I will try my best to enjoy it and uh, to um, to see as much as I can. Great. What was your first impression about Kenya? Mm, very natural. Natural, yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow, that is what I want. That's the reason I come here. Great. Yeah. Anything you have seen in Kenya and you don't have in back in China? Um, nothing very the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are two different uh, countries, mm -hmm. and uh, all the you know it's a quite tropical place mm -hmm. and in China it's still the early spring late winter mm -hmm. yeah so um, no leaves on the trees Ooh. yeah mm -hmm. so yeah it's quite different give us the similarity you have seen between Kenya and maybe China uh, that's the people they are the people, the culture, you know, the, the, the people are very friendly, both in both countries. Mm. Yeah. And uh, in China, we have some remote place. And, uh, mm. you know, like here, we have the tiny cars, mm -hmm. motorbikes. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, they are the same. Ah. Yeah, like uh, in some remote place in South China, mm -hmm. South, Southwest China, mm -hmm. like that. Ah. Those are the similarities you have seen. Huh? Tell, tell me something people don't know about your country. It might be about culture or just anything. Food. Yeah, and I think uh, maybe people know a lot. Know a lot about China. Just uh, they are too, because it's big. Yeah, a very big country. So very different from south to north to uh, from west to east very different culture mm -hmm. and um, and do you know Chinese people like spicy food mm. no mm -hmm. only western in, in, on the west mm -hmm. east people they like uh, lighter food so mm -hmm. it's quite different to say what is what in which country mm -hmm. it's just a difference in different regions mm. yeah. great uh, before you came to Kenya, that is your first African country to visit, there's a way you thought, what did you think Africa was? Was it the same way you came when, when you came? Was it the same way did they show it on the Western media? And would you recommend anyone from China to visit Kenya? And um, actually, I didn't uh, do a lot of research before I came here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I just you know leave everything and to the uh, to surprise me. Ah, yeah. And wow. <laughs> I didn't do a lot of work. Mm. <clears throat> and uh, yes, I think so. Like uh, the we don't have uh, the n n national parks like this like here in Kenya mm -hmm. and especially when I uh, arrived yesterday at night but at night I'm so sorry at night mm -hmm. and the driver told me from uh, airport to the hotel and it's a national park just beside the motorway mm -hmm. so that's a bit surprise you know the national park just in the center city and uh, beyond the motor motorway mm -hmm. a surprise and but uh, because it's the night I didn't see anything. Mm. So, do you recommend anyone to visit Kenya? Yeah, and uh, like that uh, coffee farm I just visited, it's quite unique. Wow. Yeah, it's uh, very educational, and mm -hmm. I learned a lot. Mm -hmm. Just in a few hours, I learned a lot. Mm. Yeah. Did, you get, did you manage to get some coffee from there? Uh, yeah, mm, in my bag. Oh, great. The coffee is here. Nice. So, for uh, maybe you can share with us the places you are planning to visit after Masai Mara. Mm, we first would go to Kilimanjaro mm -hmm. and then Masai Mara, mm -hmm. and, uh, and I forgot just uh, to do some like the safari mm -hmm. and the bloom, the, bro the? the hot bloom, mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, 
yeah, to to see the animals. That's my first priority to see the animals, the wild animals. Mm. So you'll be around for how many days? Mm, about ten days. Ten days. Yeah. Then you go back to China. to China. Yeah. Which part of China do you Beijing. live? Oh, Beijing. Yeah. Then you are a city girl. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. I came. I come from the um, west west part. With the west. Part, yeah, huh? southwest from China. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that part is uh, more, you know. Remote, remote, yeah, not that, uh, not that fashion city mm-hmm. like Beijing, mm-hmm. yeah, and uh, very different culture. Oh, yeah, great. Last but not least, what makes you happy? Makes me myself happy. Mm-hmm. Tour, travel all around the world. <laughs> you love traveling. Yeah, 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 I travel a lot. You travel a lot. Yeah. 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 Uh, when you go back to Belgium, huh? Would you like to come back to Africa to visit any other African country? Maybe in future? Yeah, I, I, I just said that uh, on the coffee farm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's uh, very worth visiting another time. Mm. And uh, um, this is a place I would recommend my friends wow. come here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, it's uh, very good. I love everywhere, just uh, very close to the nature. Mm. Yeah. I'm sure you are going to love a lot. Masai Mara, it's going to surprise you too. And Tamboseli, that is near Kilimanjaro. You are going to love it. That's for sure. Have you tried any Kenyan food so far? Not yet. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to maybe tonight, tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow, yeah. maybe? Yeah. That was sure. Not maybe. Sure. Sure. <laughs> Just the, the time is not quite sure, but mm. uh, yeah, I will. Can I recommend something for you to try? Great. Great. Nice. Maybe you try tell them to serve you Kenyan food that is ugali, grains and dew and nyamachoma. Okay, I will I can't remember all the names. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell them to serve you ugali. Ugali with some greens. Oh, okay, ugali. Yeah. That's much easier. Yeah, that's much easier, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And remember also to try our Kenyan tea. So nice. You mm. love it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The black tea, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The guy on the farm, coffee farm, mentioned that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Black tea, yeah. very famous here. Yeah, it's very famous mm. and it's very nice huh? and rich. Thank you so much for your time, and I wish you all the best in Kenya. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>